um, Deviations Continuing Airworthiness Manager who is here today to just um, talk about what an independent continuing airworthiness management organization, in short it's called CAMEL, so it's going to explain what an independent CAMEL does. So Razali, the first question would be, what are some current problems that are faced by operators um, today? Uh, the problem which operator of always uh, experience yeah, is the uh, the high cost of operation actually. Yeah. Uh, in in order to comply with the requirements to make sure that the aircraft is airworthy, yeah, and also at the same time uh, safe, yeah, uh, a lot of resources have to be spent uh, on camera. Yeah. Maintain the continuing airworthiness. So a lot of times they are not able to uh, to uh, catch this until it's very late. Yeah, they don't know what hit them. Yeah, uh, and eventually because of uh, uh, because of this high cost of maintaining the uh, continuing airworthiness of an aircraft, uh, such as uh, you know like the engineering aspect of it. Yeah, there's a lot of engineering aspect, uh, a lot of uh, uh, you know, even maintenance also, yeah, which is part of the uh, requirement uh, to make sure that the aircraft is already. So all these things actually is uh, high cost. Yeah? So if this is not done correctly, uh, if, uh, an organization uh, does not have the uh, adequate number of people and expertise to handle this problem. So eventually, uh, it's going to catch them yeah, when they're not ready. Especially uh, uh, when they want to return their craft after lease. Yeah? Also, sometimes if they're unlucky, yeah, they could be caught whenever the uh, authorities, yeah? it could be our local authority who comes and audit, or it could be from foreign authority that comes and audit. So they're caught and find out and they discover that uh, aircraft is not in compliance with the regulation and as a result when all this happened yeah aircraft has to be grounded aircraft has to be grounded they have to fix this uh, problem whatever is or whatever it is that's making the aircraft unairworthy and a, a lot of times this runs into tens or even hundreds of millions so this is the uh, problem yeah a lot of time operators are facing and would you say that um, having the aircraft being grounded would be one of the consequences of not having um, proper continuing airworthiness management? Precisely, that's one one of it. Uh, that is, uh, of course, the uh, the most uh, unfortunate case that could happen. But other than that, even if they are not grounded, yeah, uh, for not having a good camo, uh, operator will face a uh, high cost of operation. Yeah. So airline, as you know, is a very uh, tricky and very uh, uh, difficult business. Margin is always very small. I'm sure you've heard of so many airlines. Yeah, they just uh, work operate for one year, two years, and they close down. Yeah, uh, and one of the reasons why because the cost of operating this, especially on the maintenance and engineering, where Kamo is all about, is not being managed well. Yeah, they they are, the cost is too high. Uh, and, and you know, there's no uh, you know methodology we use correctly on how to manage this. That's one, yeah, of course. But they will also face situation like aircraft is not uh, operating or departing on time or poor on time performance. So in other words, also it's uh, it has very poor reliability. Yeah. So these are some of the uh, consequences, and this actually impact a lot, yeah, on the performance of the airline. Consequently. Uh, airline will not be able to make good profit, good revenue. Yeah, and this is going to affect the company. And being an independent camel, how can deviation help these airlines to avoid these problems? Okay. Uh, uh, a lot of times, uh, before uh, this regulation comes into practice, uh, as in, uh, in Malaysia specifically, yeah, which is only about two years, two and a half years ago, yeah. Each operator will have to have their own camo. Yeah. Yeah? And of course, when they have their own camo, uh, they are not going to do another airline camo because this is a lot of confidential information. 
it's a lot of secrecy and it's confidentiality, which is understandable. I'm not going to let my my competitor know what's wrong in my aircraft, yeah. yeah, because they can make use of it to uh, to to punish me and to for their own benefit. So now, but being an independent camo like us, yeah, two things. Now we are independent, meaning that we have uh, nothing to to compete with as far as commercial, as far as flying the aircraft. We are not flying any routes, yeah. So we just. An independent camo, not associated to any uh, operator, yeah. And we are looking at, you know, we are able to take different customers yeah, to manage their continuing airworthiness. For instance, like now, uh, I could have four or even ten different uh, operator subscribing to our camo, yeah. And this is just like uh, uh, client and lawyers' privilege, you know, where it is kept confidential. You know, whatever trade secrets that you have, yeah will not be revealed to the other party. Yeah, and because uh, the other area is that because of we are uh, working on volume, yeah, rather than just doing for our own, we're able to reduce the cost significantly. Yeah. Operator can actually save up to 70% wow. yeah, of the cost yeah, of uh, managing this continuing awareness. If they engage independent camo like division to uh, to do their continuing awareness. And not only that, we can assure you that uh, with so many years, you know, uh, for 80 years of continuing airworthiness back in our background, our background, uh, and we have not actually, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, we have not run foul of any regulation so far. There's no case, uh, we are doing it very properly, professionally. So not only you get it done cheaply, but you've done with a better quality, yeah, and more on more timely, yeah, as opposed to the old ways of doing things, which is uh, doing everything by yourself. So, given so many um, <coughs> benefits and also cost savings, mm. um, but at the same time, this is something that's very new to Malaysia. So, are there any airlines that are um, outsourcing their camel at the moment? Uh, no, unfortunately, there's none at the moment. Yeah, so uh, because. Uh, probably uh, we only got our camo in the last two and a half months or two months to be specific. Uh, so we have to spread the word around. So maybe you can help us also yes, by spreading course. the word around uh, to to explain to customers, potential customers, uh, operators especially, that now they have uh, an opportunity to not only reduce their cost of uh, managing this continuing awareness but also at the same time having better quality yeah, and better, more precise, on-time performance. Yeah. Let's say unfortunate, yeah, we are, well, you can look at it as being fortunate also because we are the uh, trailblazers, so yeah. to speak. Yeah. The first. Yeah. Yeah, the first. So hopefully we can play our role for industry. Yes. Overall, make sure that at the end of the day, um, the industry survives by having lower cost of operation, yeah. Yeah, which is, will be good for everybody. Thank you so much, Radali, for sharing the information with us. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>